Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty, a true and welcome back to Fallout 2. Well, last time, we cleared out Navarro, did a very good job getting everything we need there, but we're still missing some very important components for our trip out to the oil rig, in fact, yeah, we're still missing quite a few things there. Okay, navigation computer needs navigation computer part to function, got that. Need the electronic keycard to actually get to the navigation computer, got that too. Two down, but two to go. The tanker still needs fuel. We know the Shi have got that, and it's been implied to me the Emperor might be willing to give it to me, but I can't meet the Emperor until I've killed the Herbologist, which I've decided I'm totally happy with doing because the Herbologists seem to be dicks. So that's all absolutely fine. Because the Herbologists asked me to kill Badger, and Badger's a nice guy, so therefore we'll be killing the Herbologist instead. And then, of course, we've got to get around the submarine, which I assume, therefore, is restored content. Otherwise, it'll blow up the tanker. So, uh, yeah, I'll either figure out how to sort that out with the Emperor, or find a way to get myself over to the submarine itself. Which does sound more fun, yes. But let's start off by murdering the flipping apologist, because screw those guys. Alright, guys, don't mind me. Just taking my power armor and laser weapons for a walk. No trouble whatsoever. And yeah, for the time being... Uh, they trust me because uh, I've joined the society, though. Have I actually done anything for them yet? No, I agreed to go and get the plans for them and then handed them straight over to the Shi instead. But they don't seem to know that, so that's good. Now, the big question is, uh, can we get in, assassinate that guy, and then no? Because there's a bodyguard in his office and another one standing just outside. And I'm guessing if we murder those three, everyone else is going to figure it out too. Still, we are allowed to just walk inside, uh, so that's good. And by any chance, can we actually tell him that we've been asked to murder him? Oh, and here's a surprise. Apparently, maybe Herbology's a little bit more legit than I thought, because I've got an embergled aura, and as a result, he's figured out that, yeah, I mean him harm. Do you wish to profit from your venture? I'll say yes for the time being. Give me a counteroffer. This is the bargain. Return to the Shi and eliminate Kenley and the Emperor... I'll repay you with more money than you've ever dreamed. Okay, but the problem is I've probably got more money than you already and a giant pile of stuff in my car I can't sell because there's not enough money in the world to sell it and money can't be used to buy fuel and fuel's what I actually need to complete the game. But I'm willing to say yes so he doesn't immediately shoot me. I mean, I'd definitely rather the she survived than the herbologist, because the herbologists are about to blast themselves off into space anyway, and I can't imagine that's going to end desperately well for them, given their plan basically seems to be, uh, yeah, just blasting a spaceship up a ramp and vaguely hoping they get to space. Can't imagine that's going to end desperately well, all things considered. So, uh, yeah, the she seem to be, uh, well, a little bit opposed to any outsiders. You know, they've got scientists, they've got science labs and stuff, I reckon they represent a reasonably positive future for the local area. So, uh, yeah, screw you guys in that case. But yeah, we're just going to need to uh, make sure we get the first shots. And then how many people do we need to kill on the way out? Although, ooh, we could, of course, kill Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman on the way out. That's entirely possible, yes. Right, go into sneak mode. Right. Now, what we need to do is uh, take out the guard. Uh, then immediately afterwards, uh, take him out too. So, guys... Uh, Prepare for Operation Murder. 95% to the head. And... Did you just miss? 95 cocking percent. Try again. Okay, he's evaporated. My turn's over. Now, how high is your secret? Are you trying to punch me? Are you seriously trying to punch me right now? Also, I just gained five karma for... Oh, well done. Right, I was just actually shot for six. Luckily, the armor did protect me pretty well. And, okay, more guards are coming in. We've got a chance to take them out. Yeah, I feel like everybody knows at this point, yes. But yeah, the armor's protecting my guys very well. Sudik just took a hit for eight, but that's barely anything. So, uh, yeah, we're in good shape here. We're fine. Now, another 95% to the head uh, for this guard. And, okay, why am I sucking so much today? And there we go. He managed to take that. 72 Best not bleed on my clothes. That's really not what you should be worried about right now. Right, Sulik finishes him off. Very, very nice indeed. Also, apparently Vic's standing out in the corridor all by himself. So absolutely magnificent. Well done, Vic. Right, we'll go and take care of him in a second. First, I need to actually... Yeah, check this here corpse. Because uh, there might be something good on it. 
No, tragically nothing at all. Right, so let's go rescue Vic before he gets himself massively overwhelmed. Right, couple of guards starting to show up here, so... Go on, take a little shot there and oh yeah. I'm guessing those luck rolls are working out for me. Because yeah, someone said in the comments, they were actually pretty generous. So if you've gotten above average luck, yeah, you'll be rolling criticals all the flipping time now, which is marvellous. Okay, so um, Cat seems to have just wandered off and is now doing his own thing. Hunting down Tom Cruise and two initiates. Meanwhile, yeah, the rest of us are now down south dealing with uh, Nicole Kidman and a handful of bodyguards. This should not be uh, too difficult, all things considered, though. Hang on. If I go five to here, can I actually get a shot at you from where I am right now? Yes, looks pretty good, actually. So, right in the groin. And you go straight down. Lovely. In fact, despite not wearing armor, you just survived that shot. So, well, bloody darn. And yeah, the guards are starting to run for it now, as you bloody well should do. Right, one more shot to the head melts that guard, or rather reduces him to ash. Absolutely lovely. Right, do a quick reload here, then it's time to uh, probably start making our way out. I mean, nobody said we had to murder literally everyone. Then again, I'm gaining karma for every murder, so... Uh, does sort of work in my favour to wipe out the entire faction, yes. Oh, here we go. We've got a shot at Nicole Kidman right between the eyes, please. And down she flipping goes. Should not have joined the herbologists. Oh, that's really annoyed Tom Cruise, by the way. He's heading in my direction now. And the guards actually don't seem to be fighting me for whatever reason. Right, well, I am happy to just shoot you guys in the back of the head. Actually, reverse penis shot is apparently easier. So we'll just go for that instead. Lovely. Okay, looks like Cat managed to kill, like, one person up north, but is now rejoining us and leading the people with him. So that's absolutely fine. And meanwhile, I've got Tom Cruise uh, right here. So one between the eyes for him too. He has now died exactly the same as his dear partner. Magnificent. Ah, this is cute though. They've actually locked down the building. The force field's now back up, so that's fine. Repair skills should get me past those, and I've got Vic with me, so that should be no problem whatsoever. As for the guards in the building, yeah, I think we're down to just maybe the last one or two over there, but pretty much we're home free. There we go. In fact, we've got enough clean space around us to actually end combat for the moment. So uh, that's 5,000 XP so far. And that's not nothing. I think it was about 12,000 XP for the next level at the beginning of this episode. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there nice and fast. Now, how do we get past the force fields from within? Because do you use the repair skill on like... I thought you used it on the console, but maybe use it on the actual force field itself. So okay, Let's use ourselves a bit of uh, repair, please. And you can't repair that, if that's what you want. I thought you could repair that. What are you supposed to repair? Yes, you work on that. Aha, it's that thingy. So, fail slow the force field. Well, try again, please. There we go. Now, let's go murder some folks. Few quick shots between the eyes should take care of you. No problem whatsoever. Lovely. And, okay, I am being really unlucky on the 95% today. Right, another 700 XP, and this time, uh, yeah, we can start cracking open all those lockers uh, we couldn't open last time. So, uh, I'm guessing there's nothing spectacular here. That is actually uh, Geiger Counter. Got one of those already. Don't need any of that. May as well check the other lockers while I'm here and the guards are dead. Nope, just some basic guns, to be honest. Nothing of note here. Right, Vic can now just continue getting force fields down for me. Very, very useful indeed. Uh, so, one more as well, and then we should be... Uh, Pretty much ready to, yeah, take out the last two. Back over to uh, the big-ass laser weapon if we're going up against, you know, someone vaguely important here. Do I have a shot? I've got a shot at you, so we'll take you out. 85 to the head. That's not so bad at all. Lovely. Start taking a few steps forward. Then it's just, yeah, AHS-7 that needs to go down. And apparently you're not armed. Marvellous. Well, that makes my life a whole lot more easier. Yes, and bloody hell. Sniper was a good damn pick. Right, back upstairs, but don't forget, yeah, there's like four people upstairs and two of them are guards. So I'm guessing some of you are going to be annoyed? No? Yes, I kind of assumed you would be, but if you're not, that's fine too. I'm happy to just take a couple of shots at you at long range. That's absolutely a-okay. Marvelous. 
That was, yeah, non-critical and a miss, so that's not great. Right, take a few steps away. They're going to take some long-range shots at me, but honestly, it's not going to do much. And, uh, yeah, five and five. I can easily heal some of that off. Wouldn't have considered him the priority target there, Sulik, but you do you, I guess. Now, we've got bright daylight conditions, but no, that's, that's not going to fly. How about you, my good man? We've got ourselves... Hmm, not great. 40% in the leg. Take a shot, and that was... Uh, that was actually hit. No, no, it wasn't. Yes, yes, it was. It was just I was reading the wrong line. So Dave H is dead. Uh, we do have, yeah, 31 hit points there. Couple of light taps, but mostly those are misses. Take a few more steps forward just to actually, yeah, get into a decent amount of range. Now we've got, ooh, uh, yeah, 60% to the groin. I'll take that. Sadly got unlucky on the coin flip there. He is more lucky than me, but the armor is doing a very good job protecting me. Right, five steps closer. Now we're looking at something good here. There we go. He's melted and I'm not in the way of the next person. So you can take a shot at me. Go right the flip ahead. Don't care. Any of you guys want to do something? Yes, you want to knock him to the ground. Now that's bloody convenient because that means, yes, should be an easy 95% in a couple of critical areas. 90 on the head. I'll take that. Nice and dead. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who took damage during that fight, so I'm just going to quickly first aid myself. Nope, need to end combat first. There we go, another 1,200. So we should be like only four or 5,000 away from the next level, which is lovely. Do a quick bit of healing right here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anyway, that's all that done. So, let's go finally meet the Emperor. All right, Mr. Lee, the job is done. I expect to see the Emperor this time, all right? With the death of AHS-9, the great and terrible, the herbologists pose no real threat to us and our researchers. You're not joking, because, yeah, literally everyone else is dead too. Well done, you have our gratitude. Would you like to speak to the Emperor? Yes, I very much flipping would. You've proven yourself to be a friend of the Shi. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you'll find the force field to a large computer has been turned off. Enter the password a password, and you'll find yourself connected to the Emperor computer. I hope this proves useful to you. Right, so your Emperor is actually a big Zack's mainframe of some description. That vaguely makes sense. I mean, uh, you're a very advanced scientific community. Would make sense you've got some form of massive database that was telling you to do it, and prioritising uh, science, technology, diddly diddly d. So the computer stores history, research, and projects possibilities for the future. It's far better than any fallible human, but we temper its suggestions with our own knowledge of human nature. You know what? Honestly, that seems like a pretty good compromise. Use a computer, but don't follow it blindly. Make sure you use a bit of human intuition to temper its slightly more insane psychotic responses. Yeah, you know what? Fair play to you. That does seem like a good idea. Oh, but that 5,000 XP means I am just over into the next level two. Right, this might be the last level before we start getting towards the end of the game, so uh, think very, very carefully about this one. What do I need to get up any higher? I could up energy weapons, but yeah, that's going to be very, very expensive to do, because two skill points for a single percent at this point. Alternatively, yes, 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 don't worry about it. Alternatively, small guns. I do have that little powerful pistol thing. It's not as good as the big laser weapons I found, but it's okay. But yeah, that's that's three skill points for two up, which is not bad, but maybe not necessary. Speech is, yeah, one, three, one, which is pretty darn solid, if not spectacular. Science could be higher, but it's not tagged, so... All I could do there would be get that up to, what, about 113? Yeah, 113. Which kind of feels like that's not going to have much impact on anything. I'm over 100, so if there's any 100% checks, I've already passed that. So that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Probably the best thing I can do now is, uh, yeah, you know what? Energy weapons. That's my big damage dealer. If I run into trouble, having 113 energy weapons, uh, not a bad idea. And here we go, the secret back room that now opens up. Very, very cool indeed. And also, you've just got some random guy guarding the computer. Fair enough, I would have thought you'd keep this place, like, you know, totally locked away and sterile. But, right, so they are keeping an eye on me. Don't murder these guys. Don't blow up the computer. Also, there's just, there's just a side room here for some reason. And nothing in here either. I'm always suspicious of a side room. There's nothing in. But okay, let's have a chat to the Emperor. Because if he's a proper Zax, then yeah, he might actually be willing to, uh, you know, properly talk to us. Have some interesting things to say. All of that good stuff. 
So, here we go. Open up the terminal. We've got the password, so that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Possibly with high enough signs I can just hack my way in, but I do have the password, so I don't need to bother. So, what are we going to do with you? Geolocation. So, what does that do? What do you wish to locate? Villagers from my home. No idea how you'd know that, but we kind of already know they're very likely on the oil rigs. So that's not that useful. 95% chance villagers located at current coordinates of Enclave Compound. When you say compound, you mean Navarro, because if so, you're wrong. Okay, so that wasn't that useful. Let's go for diagnostics. So, do a network scan, format a drive, check hard drive integrity. Yeah, how are you guys doing? So, functional integrity of the system is 92%. Shielded core of the Emperor computer is 100%. Integrity of data is 100%. Forecasting mode is suffering minor power lags. Projected time to repair 6 days. Forecast 15% operational. Okay, so maybe I could actually repair you for a bit of like, ooh. They might not appreciate it if I repair you, but let's just do a quick network scan just to check everything's fine. So, biology station, chemistry station, and physics stations are inactive. All right, I'm happy to activate those. Let's activate some stuff. So that is, yeah, activate everything, to be honest. And, ooh, hang on, data to find. Botany program, genetic program, xeno program. I wanted to go for a genetic program. Could I tinker with my genetics a bit more? Because I'm very happy to do so. After about 20 minutes, you piece together the information. Using the basics of the FEV virus, Dr. Long Wang is convinced of success in creating mutant soldiers. He creates a serum, providing interesting results with rodent experiments. He injects himself and dissolves into a puddle of goo. Dr. Sheng disables the line of inquiry. With the death of Dr. Long, Dr. Sheng is in charge. Sheng demands focus on radiation-consuming plant life. Okay, so was that pre-war in China, or was that now? I'm not 100% sure. Going over to Botany, yeah, he did say he was focusing on radiation disruption plants or whatever. So, Dr. Sheng develops radiation-resistant plant life, unpleasant side effects follow, resultant plant life deemed too dangerous, Sheng insists on pursuing line and mixing it with genetic program. Fine, so I'm guessing the big carnivorous plants might be the result of this meddling then. And as for the Xeno program, the subject on which we had hoped to establish a series of meaningful experiments has disappeared, presumed either destroyed or stolen by the herbologist. Further inquiries have proved fruitless. Until such time as further specimens are obtained, the database will remain inoperative. Okay, Xeno program, something stolen by the herbologist, but I never came across anything in their bait. It looked like it was... Uh, Either some form of special evolved creature or random creature at all or anyone particularly special in the slightest. Unless, of course, you're talking about, like, the slight latent psychic powers that AHS-9 does actually seem to possess because he knew I was coming to kill him. Maybe he's just good at reading body languages or faces or whatever, but there might be something in it. One or two of them did have real psychic powers. Possibly they were psychers and used that ability to start up a cult pretending everyone else could have those powers too if they just handed a giant pile of money over. Possible, but a bit unclear. Aha, uh -huh. so the machine is, yeah, People's Liberation Army Navy Emperor V4.01. So originally this was like the big AI that was running the submarine, presumably, but they moved it off the sub and over to here. So, okay, the submarine status. Yeah, that's the submarine indeed. So, armament, eight nuclear ballistic missiles, launched 8th of August 2068, commissioned 18th of April 2069, Captain Admiral Class AAAA Yi Li, crew 15 officers, 28 petty officers, 27 enlisted, 16 civilian technicians. Fine, so uh, those were the guys who were the ancestors of the Shears they are today. So the submarine's damaged beyond repair, mainframe removed from vessel and relocated, ship refitted as a stationary defensive structure two miles north-northeast of San Francisco Harbour. So, yeah, there were some combat patrols previously around, like, Alaska or whatever. Ask about those. Upon request, made by the Alaskan Frontline Commander, General Gene Wei, who, of course, we actually meet in the simulation in Fallout 3, which is very, very cool indeed. So yeah, it was transferred to the Alaskan Pacific Theatre of Operations to intercept American convoys in open waters. Under the command of Rear Admiral Yi Li, she sank nine freighters and four warships, damaging 18 more crafts and putting a significant strain on enemy supply lines. 
Okay, so the submarine did a very, very good job indeed. So, if this submarine was ever actually told to release its payload, yeah, its job was to take out the West Tech Research Facility, together with, yeah, the corporate headquarters in Los Angeles, and just some major population centres. Fine, makes sense. Ah, but here's something we might actually be able to use. So, 2220, a lot more recent. Poseidon Marine Vessel Valdez, that's the big tank we've already visited, arrives in port manned by a crew equipped with unknown type powered infantry armour. The ship is disabled and infested with mutants. Following consultation with the Emperor, generally dictates that the submarine be reactivated and transformed into a defensive installation against further naval threats. Then a month later, the submarine is reactivated. Emergency power had to be provided to power it up. Next year, the emergency generator died. Kenley ordered an electrobox generator to be wired into the power system to keep powering the submarine, and a Neptune wave skinner motorboat is restored and transferred to the submarine maintenance crew. Aha! A maintenance crew. Now that seems like a way to get on the submarine without having to murder anybody. So there are regular trips to refuel and maintain the generator. The file also lists current maintenance crew roster. Marvellous, so I can pass myself off as one of them. Beautiful. Ah, even better, I can just add myself to the roster. Lovely. And on top of that, get myself a bunch of passwords, transfer them to my pit boy. Oh, this is lovely. This was definitely worth doing. And here we go, we've got a personal log from the captain of the submarine from the day of the Great War. We've received confirmation codes and will be in position in 15 minutes. This is probably my last entry in this log, so let me state that I do not condone this kind of atrocity. War is fought between soldiers, not bombs and civilians. If anyone survives, I hope they will forgive us. Anything else? No! A few days later, he did actually post something else. So, six days after the war... Damn those maniacs. I thought we were the only group ordered to engage the Los Angeles sector, but I was wrong. They launched our most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile at it. I can't fathom why it wasn't sent at Washington, but that's moot. We're currently drifting in the ocean, the Emperor is dead, navigation is busted, and it seems this is going to be our grave. Right, so they were ordered to get close enough to fire some local missiles, but a massive missile and the associated EMP burst knocked them out too. So yeah... Didn't work out well for them. A week or so later, we've been adrift for several days now. Jing managed to restore some of the power to our onboard systems, so we should have enough oxygen to last several weeks. I'm more concerned about food and water. Our supplies are low and there's not enough of them to go round. The crew's getting restless. Right, I'm guessing this didn't end well. Four days after that, the Emperor's back online, but barely. We still have no navigation and the crew is on the verge of mutiny. I had to stop two soldiers from beating up Jing. The situation is dire. Unless we serve for the next few days, I fear we will kill each other. And I'm guessing that's a bit too early to be breathing in the open air, but then again, if you're far enough out at sea, maybe you're okay depending on prevailing winds. Four days after that, finally, we ran aground in the San Francisco Bay. The soldiers were rejoicing until we cut open the hatches. The city's a wreck, ravaged by firestorms and fallout. I sent out shore parties to find a suitable campsite. So far, none have reported such a location. Right, so this is, yeah, the beginning of the Xi, but it was not a good beginning. Lao's team found an inhabitable neighbourhood. The denizens have abandoned it after an air raid alarm, it seems, but it suffered little damage. The most ironic thing? It's San Francisco's Chinatown, still surrounded by American checkpoints and fortified barracks. If only they knew. Later that month, they made contact with Red Dragon. The North America Black Ghost Command has been trudging westwards ever since the 23rd after they lost contact with Central Command. They're none too happy about being stuck on enemy soil, but we must make do. Right, so it wasn't just nukes, there were actual Chinese troops landed. It's just, yeah, the devastation was so absolute that the actual Central Command was knocked out, so uh, they weren't really sure what they were supposed to be getting on with. Ah, this reflects very well on Admiral Yi Li indeed. So the camp was set up and functioning, ghosts are running around scavenging operations in the surrounding areas and rounding up any supplies they come across, but I gave them strict orders not to engage American survivors without provocation. We cannot antagonise potential allies. So he pretty much knew that, yeah, the war was over, now everyone just needed to work together. So Yi Li, he was a good sort. Admittedly, he did, like, you know, not disobey orders, he fired the nukes. But after that point, he was a good sort. This is going to be my last entry in the log. I am no longer an admiral of the People's Liberation Army. I have responsibilities to my men and will lead them into the future. 
As of 2078, we are in full secession from China. Chairman Chang, eat your heart out. This is Yi Li, leader of the Shi Huang Ti people, signing off. Oh, so that's nice. He got a sort of happy-ish ending. Had himself a little town over in San Francisco. Very, very nice indeed. Now, back to the databases that are available here. So, yeah, into physics, where there is exploration and theory. With the recent acquisition of vertebrate plans, the possibility of creating a practical flying machine has taken a quantum leap forward. We expect to have a working prototype by the end of the year, the ability to mass produce such vehicles within two years. Okay, maybe I've massively underestimated the engineering capability of these guys because they seem pretty confident they can get the vertebrates up and running. And in theory, nothing much. Just confirming these guys are, yeah, working on nuclear power, maybe even space travel, and they mock the herbologists for trying to get into space. Well, yeah, they're trying to do precisely the same thing. Ah, oh, here we go. The chemistry station. Now this, this is the one we want. Fuel and derivatives. Let's start with polymer because I'm guessing this is the fuel transfer we need. And Polymer just mentioned, yeah, potentially a new Polymer combat armor resistant to flame and penetration, but still years away from completion. So sadly, can't actually have one of those for myself. But yeah, the Shi'ar may be even more advanced than I was actually thinking. And here we flipping go. Vast array of complex chemical formulae and lab notes. Let's just get that fuel sent over to the Poseidon tanker. So 5,000 XP for that too. Marvellous. And forecasting just gives you, yeah, various predictions it's spitting out. So, Enclave more powerful than previously believed, do not approach, and chance of submarine reappearing in the game, 100%. I'm guessing that was added as a little in-joke by the restoration mod. Tanker Vagrant, 0% likely to clear creature infestation without outside assistance, processing desirability of providing assistance. Right, so, as we know, of course, they weren't going to go and do it, but... I did it for them. However, the machine was saying, hey, maybe we could go and do it because then they'd owe us. So, okay, I see how the machine works. It's a very valuable tool. Right, I think that's all we need from the computer. We've got a way to get over to the submarine and we've got the fuel. The question is, yeah, does Ken have anything new to say? Nope, nothing new there. So I believe we're ready to move straight on. Right, I've dropped a save because I don't know how seriously I need to treat this infiltration here. That's the guy down by the boat I need to fool, and technically I don't need to fool him at all because uh, my name's on the list, but if I show up in power armor holding a massive flipping laser weapon with my three friends who have also got power armor and massive guns, uh, is he going to basically realize this is blatantly not legit or will he just follow orders? So, uh, hello over there. How are you getting on? So, need to use the motorboat actually, and I need you to flip right off. No, 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 no. Actually, I think you'll find that I'm an expert subologist, and here's my flipping passwords. I guess you really are a technician. The she must be getting desperate to hire outsiders. Anyway, you're early. Didn't they tell you that the tech team doesn't leave port until midnight? You can wait for the rest of the team here if you want. Okay, fair enough. Wait until midnight. Gotcha. In fact, there is specifically a wait until midnight option, so that's very bloody convenient. Ready to join the tech team? I am indeed, and by the way, I'm bringing along my three friends. They're also experienced subologists. Oh, flip, I'm actually at the submarine. Magnificent. So, time to see what we've got going on here, and apparently it's just me. Okay, that's not a problem. I don't actually need Mentats to get my team back, so hopefully they're just waiting for me at the dock. I really flip and hope so. Right, so, what do we need to do, and do you guys want to actually have a chat to me? This thing still gives me the creeps. Can we get this door open? Because this door appears to not lead to anything. Uh, completely rusted over. Fine. Let's see what's going on here. In fact, let's just actually scout ahead. Because obviously, you know, uh, this place is uh, nice and long and thin. So it's just a series of rooms. And ultimately, I just need to uh, disable this thing. Ideally, without blowing it up or anybody realising what's gone wrong. Because I've got nothing against the sheet, to be honest. So uh, let's just check in. Uh, I'm busy here. All right. They don't want to talk. Somebody's going to want to talk, hopefully. Here we go. This scientist wants to have a chat. So, uh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm trying to reconfigure the targeting systems here? Good. Good, good, good. Now, what do I need to do? Because I need to make sure, yeah, your targeting system uh, doesn't work particularly well. Or, yeah, the IFF. The same IFF that lets me dock at the oil rig. If I could just plug that in over here so you guys don't shoot at the tanker, that'd be marvellous. 
So, let's make sure we actually speak to this person properly here. So, I've got new specs for those systems checked by the Emperor personally. That sounds dubious. Or, I can help you with configuring the systems. Seems the connection between the Marine Navigation Subsystem and the IFF Transponder finally died. So, we have to do a workaround. Mind if I help? That sounds pretty legit, yes. After a few minutes of familiarising yourself with the UI, you start working. A few minutes later, you not only manage to reconfigure the targeting parameters so the sub doesn't sink the tanker, but also remove a fault in the system, preventing the text from accessing the subsystem easily. Marvellous. So, we're safe, and they can't fix it. Lovely. And in the front room, we've got torpedoes and torpedo launchers. So I'm guessing, yeah, if we couldn't actually figure that out, say if I didn't have high enough science or repair or whatever, yeah, we might have needed to find a way to blow up the submarine. But thankfully, we can do this nice and easy. So uh, job done. Pretty simple there. Straight back to town, if you'd be so kind. And nobody knows I just screwed everything up. Beautiful. All right, back at the dock. And good, I need to re-recruit people. Everybody's already A-OK -okay with me. Marvellous. Okay, time to line everything up here because I think I've actually got what I need. Number one, navcom parts. Retrieve those from my car. Ah, that reminds me, however. Yeah, Badger, you promised to actually do some hacking, which I'm guessing is a bit of a fallback just in case you mess up with the faction. So just out of interest, I'm going to drop a save and see what happens if I ask you to actually hack one or both of the factions. Ah, sadly I've been through his entire dialogue tree. Yeah, the options disappeared. So, uh, I'm guessing for the she, that's just an easy way to move the fuel over. Though I'm not 100% sure what you'd find if you were to hack the herbologist. Because uh, I'm not sure what it is they've got that he could remove by hacking that would actually, you know, give you any benefit. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a mystery there. Okay, this place is being cleared out still. Nothing's actually decided to respawn here. So, let's start using the various bits of technology we've got here. So I'm guessing, use the electronic key on this key reading device. There we go, 2000 XP, light on the panel turns green. Good, good, good. So in which case, in here, and then climb up to that room that I saw before that there was, yes, no entrance into. Now I'm guessing you are the nav computer. So that's all absolutely fine. Go over to nav computer, install part in computer, and the navigational computer is now online. Beautiful. All right, check in with the computer here because, yeah, this was the computer that actually just reaffirmed we've got everything. So, uh, welcome to PosidoNet. This network's limited to the transmission between one tanker and its docking rig. Command, yeah, check the status. So, uh, fuel tanks, full. Cargo hold, empty. Navigational computer, functional. Mooring lines attached. And uh, the submarine's been taken care of. So we are now ready to push the go button, if that's what we want to do. But that, as I understand it, is both the end of the game and potentially the point of no return. Once we're off to the oil rig, we're off to go and get our ending, and then the ending slides will come. And we can't get ourselves an ending until I'm satisfied that everything over here in California is to my liking. So next week, ladies and gentlemen, it is the beginning of the end. We need to go and wrap things up because there are a bunch of quests all around the map I haven't actually finished up yet. So we need to go and uh, wrap some of that business up. Some of them very, very small indeed, very, very simple. A couple of bigger quests and one entire location, as I understand it, I haven't actually visited yet. So we're going to wrap up a whole bunch of loose ends next week, ladies and gentlemen, and then uh, it is time to make our way over to the oil rig. It is the beginning of the end. Fallout 2 is starting to come to its close and uh, I have got some very exciting plans for what is going to follow it. We can maybe start talking about those over the next week or two. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut and this has been Fallout 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.